All right, hello everyone. Uh, we are playing some uh, Adam Zombie Smasher. Um, it's a game that I've occasionally pick up whenever I'm kind of bored or feeling like something different. Um, it's a game that basically I'll, I mean, I'll show it to you as I'm playing it, but it's um, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, what, what, let's see, what, what do I want to start with here? Um, let's go with combatant. Um, casual or hardcore? Um, mm, let's just go with combatant. Let's see how this goes for us. This is a goofy little intro. Um, I don't know why there is this little arrow in the corner. Um, I think it's a leftover of the other controller being plugged in, the actual like Xbox controller. Um, I don't know why uh, it's up there, but uh, I tried to get it off. I tried restarting the. I tried restarting the game, and yeah, it didn't work. So, uh, well, here we are. I'm Zombie Smasher. Alright, so basically what it comes down to is there's a map, as you can see behind us. Um, every time you click on one of these little individual like districts, a month passes. Um, and on the right hand side it'll show you the mercs that are available to you this month. So it shows you like where you can choose from, or like what it what you have available to you. Uh, once you get more and more um, like mercenaries, um, like mercenary types. There's, there's, there's like a commando type. There's a uh, there's like snipers. There's like a big huge bomb like that you can uh, like a cannon type thing. Uh, barricades like dynamite. There's all types of things that you have you can have available to you uh, eventually. Uh, but right now, at the beginning of the game, because of the game type I chose, you only have. Uh, Eva Kelly, yeah. Oh yeah, hello Dong. Um, yeah, this game, I haven't played it in a while, but I really like this game. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, so this, so this month I have increased helicopter speed because that's one thing I really have. The, the, the beginning of this game is kind of a tutorial, kind of like showing you the ropes. I mean, I don't really need it, but I forget how you turn it off, because it's been a while since I've played it. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, and um, so this is the map. And on the map, it'll show you, like, there'll be, there'll be numbers one through four. One is like a really low infestation, really easy, like, to stop. Um, and it, like, depending on like where you want to go on the map, like, if you want to stop like certain things from spreading, you want to like go to certain districts. But you can only go to districts that have numbers in them, so we have to go to this one. All right, and let's see, planning phase. Move my, whatever. All right, um, so we have pheasant, pleasant pheasant, and we have to place landing zone away from the Z. Now the Z will be coming from the top two portions up here. As you can see, where it says Z, um, there'll be the pink or purple dots, um, and if any of these little yellow dots hit are hit by them, they will become zombies and will spread out throughout the map and make my day unpleasant. So the whole goal of the game is to, well, this, the whole goal of the game is to get survivors out of these zones. Um, but the second, but like, another goal, the way you, the way you can get more points is if you kill all the, all the Zed in a certain area. Now in order to kill all the Zed, you have to have an offensive troop, like a merce, like some sort of like mercenaries or like dynamite or like landmine, or something like something that can kill Zed. Unfortunately, in this beginning stage, we only have helicopters. So we can't do that. Um, also, another point to note is at the top right of the screen, um, there'll be a, a like a blank of rescued, blank of blank of whatever number rescued. This mission's ten. That's the goal. We have to capture like. Before the Zed either kill all the people, kill the people, or you know, or I, I don't know. 
So, yeah. So basically, we want we want to figure out a good spot where we can get enough people, but not not get all these people congregated con congregated around an area that will have a high concentration of Zed. Um, also, note that there is a day night cycle in this game. In this game, so when you're on a map, um, at during the day, all only that will come out that will come out will come up to the Zed zones that are there. At night, the wolf will howl and Zombies will come pouring out to the sides. Like any sort of like alley that zombies can come out of, they will come out of. So it's important to kind of think of well, like is my day shorter? Is my day longer? Like are my is my helicopter slowed down? Like what's going on? So it's important to keep those things in mind when you're kind of placing your troops. Um, yeah, so it's, it's kind of a top down like strategy type game. You can restart if you want to, but for now we're gonna. We're gonna play the first mission through, and enough of me talking. Let's get to the actual game. Uh, so, I'm trying to figure out why I want to set this down here as I've been talking. I kind of want to set it like here, so I can get the these guys out of uh, harm's way. But who knows how they might move? And it's also really close to like a lot of Zed. So I think I'm gonna move it down here just so I can get a lot of Zed. I get a lot of uh, survivors out. Because uh, as you can see, I'm going to get a large concentration from right down here. Whereas the, up here, they have to move a little bit farther. Um, here, they can kind of run to me. And you can also move around. Like, once you set it down, like I said, it's good. It's good because the button. You can also pick it back up and like set it, reset it down and move it wherever you want to. Um, as you can see, like, the little... I can't do it without kind of getting away from it. But uh, the little... Um, Circular zone outside. So like, the, so like the, there's like the H, and then there's a little yellow, um, little yellow circle, and then on the outside, outer, outside there's like a circle, like we're doing a circle with um, like some triangles. Um, that is the radius of like the of like where I can get people from. Like if there's any p people in the zone when that horn goes off the helicopter. They will come towards like the helicopter zone, so and the helicopter can only fit at the beginning thirty people. So I think we're set it here, and we're just gonna go. All right. So you see helicopters coming in. See, now you see all those people came in from over here. Instead of pouring in from the top, um, people move pretty slowly. But once they see a zombie, they kind of get panicked and run a little bit faster. And as you see. All right, full load. All right, kind of want to move this down a little bit so the Zed can't get everybody. Uh, so I gotta kind of think of a good place to put it. I think down here is a perfect position because that way people are drawn away from the zombies, and the helicopter can get. Oh, I also forget that um, helicopter will only, will only stay on the ground for a short period of time. So if say, oh god, that's not good. Oh uh, boy. Yep, that, that's. Ugh, that sucked. All right, let's get it. Let's get it over here. Hey, person warrior, how you doing? Also, if um, on the landing zone, the um, there's like zombies, it'll get too hot, and they and they will they will leave like that. Um. So it's kind of catching a daytime. It's gonna. This is gonna be hard to do anything here. Um, the first mission's always hard. Like you can't. You can't kill any zombies. No, it's. This is Garrett. Uh, I don't have the cam again because I couldn't get it to work with this Steam game. No oh, Christ. So you, you can also, on the bottom right here, um, emergency takeoff. Um, order them to leave. As you can see, zombies are all sw just swarming this place. And there's one. It'll show down here how many people are left. Um, there's just one guy left, and let's get him the fuck out of here. All right, and that is the first one. So kind of splitting this screen a little bit. The rest of the crew is at work. Um, yeah, lol. Um, so kind of splitting this uh, the screen is it'll show you the mission time, like how long it took. So it took me about six minutes to get this done. Um, the goal was 10 people. 
Um, we actually have 46. And there's, there's different modifiers for like different levels of playing. Um, we're playing on the first one. Um, that's about 4.30ish, 5 o'clock. People, people aren't home yet. Um, and this time, Zeds are infected. Um, that's imp th these numbers are important for um, what you rescued, and the infections are important for points, which is how you win the game. Um, and then metal rating silver, which is the number of rescues you got. Um, another thing to note is you can upgrade your like mercenaries. You can upgrade. They'll have like different categories once you uh, hit the number of like. So let's, let's say that if I Kelly rescues 125 people, I can then upgrade the arrival time or load time to something lower, uh, so it'll be faster. Ten o'clock. Oh wow, it is ten. Shoot, that's late. But no, it's only five o'clock here. Um, and down here, there's little tips, but I don't really need them too much. So yeah, um, we continue on. So as you can see, I got 46 points for getting 46 res rescues, and the Zed got 79 points for getting infections. Um, there's a little different points here um, during doing these certain things, like um, like little events happen. Like you kind you kind of see as we go along that I'll get more points and things will unlock and. It, as zombies get more points, it gets harder for me to do things. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll kind of we'll try to explain that as it goes along. But I need to get, I think it yeah, it's six thousand points. So right now, it's pretty low. Uh, we need to continue on. And I get a I get mercenaries. All right. So now this is a artillery cannon, which is great. Ah. And at the end of every month. Um, you get points for how many territories you control. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, um, killing all the zombies in an area makes it lets you control the area. It'll go yellow like like this one is over here. You automatically start off with one. Um, a black area like this means that you didn't kill the zombies. You just met, met all the goals for capturing everybody for for capturing enough people, um, rescuing enough people, I guess. Um, so that that will be black. You don't get, you, you don't get any points for that. Uh, you, you can't go back in there and get any more points. So <clears throat> every month, like you, you, you'll get, you get 20 points for every, um, oh, I just clicked on it. You get 20 points for every, uh, territory you control and there'll be numbers one through four here and they will get, I think, times 10 points for how many ever things they control so that'd be 10 points that'd be 10 points so they would get 20 points right now for just having those two in existence now the whole goal is to kind of get more points and beat them like get enough points so that way you can win the game yeah world war z is the name um, of the movie you're thinking of it's based on a book that's actually really really good i really i really love the book for it 